Do we really have to understand sorcery to explain quantum entanglement? Quantum entanglement isn't magic. It's not spooky. It's just naming. The universe gives names based on composition. Two objects built from the same particles, in the same structure, share the same cosmic identity. To the universe, they are one. In experiments, scientists talk about spin, mass, energy, and environment. But these are not what create entanglement. They're just ways to confirm the particles have the same name. That's why environments are controlled so tightly. It's not because entanglement is fragile, but because any interaction can rename a particle. Once the name changes, the connection breaks. We actually see entanglement every day. We just don't notice it. Gold behaves like gold everywhere. Silicon acts like silicon anywhere in the universe. Their properties are identical because the composition is identical. But this is the weakest form, Yager, of entanglement, sharing the same state, not sharing the same identity. Imagine an office with two people named David. The boss says, David, make coffee. Both respond because both believe the order is for them. That's how entangled particles react. In programming, define two variables named A. Change one value. The other updates instantly. That's entanglement. Pure, simple, inevitable. If we could build two objects with the exact same cosmic name, changing one would instantly affect the other. No magic, no mystery, just the way reality names things.